Okay, so now we're going to talk about el preterito. Um, el preterito is the preterite. That's also an English term. Um, and it is, uh, hold on a second, let me pull out my little text. All right, I got it ready. It is the past tense, okay? It's a form of the past tense. Um, there's two different types of past tense. Um, in Spanish, there's the preterite and there's the imperfect. And we're going to learn the imperfect later, but a really quick crash course for the most part would be preterite is something that happened one time and it's over with and then imperfect is something that um, is kind of about your childhood you know like it happened ongoing for a long time but right now we're talking about the preterite and it's a past tense it's how we talk about things that um have happened i have no idea what that's supposed to be uh talk about events on a have a calendar, I think. So if you can put it on a calendar, then um, then it's usually preterite. Okay, like I went to my mom's house. I could put that on a calendar. Okay, so here are some keywords. They're not the only ones, but they're very popular and they go really well with the preterite. And um, by the way, this is a very gray area and I'm, I'm going to stop talking about the imperfect, but just because I say that it's a good preterite word doesn't mean that you can't use it with the imperfect. So further down the road, you'll learn that. Anyway, anoche means last night, which should be pretty easy because it has the word noche in it. Ayer means yesterday. Hopefully, y'all know that already. Ante ayer, antes means before and I, uh, yesterday. So that would be the day before yesterday. And this is when Spanish has us beat. One word, four words. El otro día is the other day. And I like to tell people to remember just el otro and then whatever. Because I could also say el otro lunes, like the other Monday, or whatever. Okay? Uh, and then same thing. Um, in, oh, en el pasado is in the past. Uh, this one I like a lot. And this is another one I would tell you to memorize on your own. Oh my gosh, it should let me write. Okay. Uh, el blank pasado is the whatever past, so last whatever. So this one is last year, el año pasado. But if I said la semana pasada, that would mean last week. And by the way, did you see that pasada changes because I'm talking about la semana? So the pasado and pasada are going to change talking about whatever you're doing. Um, and pasado means past, so that goes really well with the past. Um, okay. Uh, hace tres horas que, this is a tricky one. So, hace tres horas que means three hours ago, I, whatever. Um, it literally means it makes three hours that, but the translation would be I did this three hours ago. So, um, in this case, three hours ago, dot, dot, dot. Um, it could be hace dos semanas, two weeks ago, whatever. Um, okay, una vez means a time, and it can also mean one time. One time when I went to my friend Julie's house, blah, blah, blah. Esta mañana means, oopsie, you've just watched the demonstrative adjectives video, and esta is a demonstrative adjective meaning this, so this morning, okay? Moving right along. Regular AR verbs. So, um, I am not sure. Oh, with the example of large. So let me fill this out real quick. Okay, so this is going to be your new verb chart for the preterite tense. So, completed past items for AR verbs. So instead of o, as, a, amos, an, it's going to be e, as, te, o, amos, aron. Again, it's going to be very important that you use the accent or you don't because if I say hablo, that means I speak. But if I say hablo, that means he spoke. Okay, so the accents are a big deal. So e, as, te, o, amos, aron. And there's a fun little poem I'll teach you as soon as we go over ERIR verbs. Um, so anyway, um, to see it in context, I removed the AR ending as usual, and then I added those endings to it. So hablé, hablaste, habló, hablamos, hablaron. So your práctica is right here. Um, it says to circle the preterite expression. So let's see. Okay, so my subject here is ella, and the verb is terminar. I'm going to remove my AR ending, and if I go back up to the chart, it is feminine, 
ella, doesn't include the word yo, so it's not that one, doesn't include the word tu, so it's this one, terminó. And this one says tu, so it's going to be aste, and this one says yo, so it's going to be e, okay? Now it says the go back and circle the preterite expression, so this is just you going back and circling uh, these words so that you're paying attention to them. Okay, so una normalmente, blah, 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 una vez, that's your preterite expression that you would circle. Hace un día, que, that's another expression, and then ayer is one, el año pasado, anoche, el otro día, anteayer, el viernes pasado. You'll notice almost all of them are at the end of the sentence, FYI. Um, okay, so the rest of these answers uh, are going to be at the desk, so you can go up and look at them when you're done. And I'm going to go ahead and go through a couple of the homework questions for you as well so that you can get those under your belt. So same thing here. So yo baile. Um, yo camine. Rigo, which is a dude, doesn't include the word yo or nosotros. Excuse me, doesn't include the word yo or tu. It's on the singular side, so canto. And then mis amigos y yo, that doesn't include the word tu. It does include the word yo, and it is plural, so it's compramos. And then again, if I'm going to circle the preterite expression, anoche, uh, hace cinco minutos que, uh, fue is kind of the tip that it was in the preterite. Fue is the past tense of it was. Um, and then el fin de semana pasado is the one on number four. Uh, so you can fill out the rest of this. This is part of your homework. And then check it at the desk when you're done. Moving on, I've got ERIR verbs. Oh, actually, let's go back real quick. Compramos is the exact same in the preterite as it is in the present tense. So it's kind of important that when you're using AR verbs in the nosotros form, that you definitely have some sort of a preterite expression that kind of gets the point across that, yes, I am talking about something that already happened. Uh, okay, so let me fill this out. Okay, so uh, regular ER and IR verbs have the same endings in the preterite. So back in the old days, um, in the regular ER, IR verb charts, it was O, S, E, emos, or emos, depending on which kind of verb you're talking about, and N, right? Now, it's going to be emos no matter what. So, e, iste, yo, imos, yero. There's an accent on the I and there's an accent on the O right here. The accents never happen on the um, preterite form. And this looks really scary, but it's actually just this plus the IS at the end. So, it's actually not that bad. And then I just noticed escribí here. Hold on a second. So, I've got escribí, escribiste, escribió, escribimos, escribisteis, and escribieron. And again, imos no matter what. Okay? So again, we want you to circle the preterite expression and conjugate the verb correctly. So this would be um, bebi. This one would be comieron because the subject is my amigas. Uh, the next one would be to escribiste. And the thing I was going to teach y'all a minute ago is this. Um, okay, so it's a little song I like to call, it's going to sound horrible. Uh, I think it's what, Frere Jaca, it's to the tune of that. So you do each form in the order like yo to L.A. was dead, and you go through each chart. Now, these charts are the exact same. So each time at the end, you'll hear a repeat, but it's really the two charts. So I'm going to try to move my cursor along with it. So I have a really good voice, so be careful. Uh, A, E, E. E, 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 Aste, Iste, Iste, Aste, Iste, Iste, O, E, O, E, O, O, E, O, E, O. And then this part you only do uh, one time each. Amos, Imos, Imos, Aron, Yeron, Yeron. And so that's how it's actually a very good song to memorize. It helps you fill out the charts a lot uh, easier than just from memory. Um, and another thing you want to, uh, you don't need to do it for next class, next class is vocabulary. But you do want to memorize these charts right here. We're about to learn a lot more than just those charts. Uh, and I'm going to start giving y'all those little quizzes where you come in and you fill out a chart and it's a, it's a minor grade. Uh, but not for next class, but you'll want to work on that, okay? Uh, so the homework is using AR verbs and ERIR verbs. So if you've got all of those to deal with, I would suggest that you go and maybe circle the ERIR verbs and don't circle the AR verbs, and that way it kind of sticks out in your head and you know what to do with each one. I'm going to do the first 
few for you. So I've got Conocio, Preparo, oops, uh, Cantamos, uh, Vivio. Even though my family has more than one person in it, it is one unit, and that's how I'm going to talk about it. Okay. Um, okay, that one's not good. Let's see. Um, okay, that's just giving me problems. Uh, let's see. Yo salí uh, con Ricardo. Boom, Z, still got my way. Uh, okay. And next would be cantaste and los estudiantes comieron and y'all can figure out the rest okay uh, don't forget if there happens to be a conjugated verb um, before the blank or if you see the verb gustar like right here you need to be scared of it right gustar the only way this is ever going to look in the preterite is gusto or gustaron because remember, with gustar, I'm only talking about the object, not me. So I'm saying it was pleasing to me or they were pleasing to me. So yesterday I'm talking about a movie, so the answer would be uh, gusto. Oops. Because I'm only talking about one singular thing. Okay? So that is it. And we will talk about these next class. And that's it. Okay, thanks.